had the invitation, I think it was around about, um, oh, I think it was around about the end of October, beginning of November. Up until that point, I hadn't, I hadn't bowled since, since March, really, because we had no events on. Um, there was nothing that, that needed preparation for, so I suppose I took the opportunity then just to have a bit of time out. Um, but when I got the invitation, I managed to get a couple of practices in probably about twice a week, um, trying to juggle work on a little one. So, um, yeah, about twice a week for a couple of months, um, just to get the arm going again, you know, and just to, to feel comfortable on the green and... Because one of the things with bowls is is have is is to feel it really. Um, it comes so sort it of comes naturally when you're on the green. I was surprised really. The first game I played on the Friday night, I played mixed pairs before the singles tournament started, and I was surprised how nervous I was. Um, you know, I've played a lot of competitions now and I've played a lot of elite level bowls over the years. And I suppose the nerves, the nerves are always there. Um, obviously, if you're not nervous, then I think there's something wrong, really, you know, because you're nervous that you want to bowl well. But I was surprised how nervous I actually was this time. See, <music> leading up to the tournament, we had a lot of. Um, you know, we had a couple of Zoom meetings um, with the uh, tournament personnel. Um, you know, they were informing us of the procedures. They had went through, oh, they went through numerous procedures and regulations to get the tournament running. Um, obviously, the main thing was um, was um, COVID testing, PCR testing prior to the event. So everyone was tested prior to arriving on site, um, and then the site was. Um, closed effectively, it was only open to tournament players and personnel, so it was a bubble environment. They had obviously numerous things in place, um, temperature checks, you know, seas on the green, in terms of sanitising, and so they did as much as they could do to keep us safe, and that is what I was comfortable with, that they, they had taken everything they could, they had taken every measure they could take. Was, yeah, it was strange not to be bowling. So to go to, you know, that was one of the reasons I went as well was to be doing something that yeah, I loved to do. You know, it was a reminder of what life was like before the pandemic. Yeah, it's great to be honest. Yeah, it's, it was a uh, if uh, six years ago is now since I went it last in 2015. Um, a bit of a surprise, if I'm honest. Um, I went just, obviously, you know, to to be invited and you know to go and and to be playing bowls again after not playing for so long. It was just for me. It was just about being part of the event. Um, obviously, I wanted to bowl well, um, but I gotta be honest, I didn't expect to come home with a trophy. <laughs> Oh, they've been over the been over the moon. <laughs> yeah, they were they were really they just wanted me to go and um, you know, to bowl well and to enjoy myself really. They wanted me to go and enjoy the event, um, enjoy being part of that kind of atmosphere again. Yeah, they, they chuffed, yeah, really pleased. I can understand people's reservations uh, about going back. Um but I think in life, everything's going to have a risk to it until, you know, the virus has, um, has gone completely or we've got it to a point where the risk is minimal. But I think as long as clubs have got procedures in place and everyone, everyone is sensible, um, I, I don't see why we can't be back. <music> you know, Bose has got a stigma to it. Um, it's always been known as old man's marbles. Has always been the phrase I was grown up with, and you know I used to tell people I play bowls, and they would come back to me and say, "Well, what do you play that for?" And I think, well, until you try, and until you see what the game is all about, don't don't judge it until you you've given it a go. You know. So yeah, I'd like to. If anybody is, if anything is going to come from my win, and I I'd like to think that people will think, "Well, I'll give that a go." Yeah.